Okay, so um, this is my tinnitus video. Um, uh, I've been writing up tinnitus on my blog about my tinnitus and uh, how I got in touch with um, a clinic that does something called a Linear, which is a device that um, well, I'll show you. Basically, I got, um, I guess I got a hearing test and they said that I, I uh, would work and I ponied up the money for this device. Uh, it was far from cheap. Um, and uh, I'm basically just going to show you what this is. So it's uh, there's a few things here. They come in a kind of like proper boxes and stuff. So this is the box that it came in. It's got it's well packaged, I guess. Um, and then in here is the actual device. Um, so there's a couple of pieces here. First of all, this is the this is the the machine. So uh, we've got some buttons. Um, it's kind of plasticky. It's fairly robust. Um, and um, a couple of volume controls, but it's all been preset to my hearing. Um, and this is the, the thing called a tongue tip. So we get that. I don't know where I'm really looking, but. Um, so these are small electrodes that sit on my tongue like that. Um, and this will then kind of mildly electrocute me. Um, along with it came some headphones and like, this is the actual box for the headphones. Like these are very much off the shelf. Uh, headphones. Um, they are discontinued from what uh, I researched um, and uh, they're Bluetooth headphones. I think the thing that's special about them is that the hardware inside of here is pre-programmed to pick it up uh, with respect to uh, uh, Bluetooth. Um, so I've done this once before and I'm going to do it now. Um, it's You're supposed to do it for an hour a day um, and this is programmed to do half an hour at a time. So what I'm going to do is basically do a session now. Uh, it's about 11 uh, in the morning, so I've just done some work things. I'm taking a break to do this, this therapy. Uh, I've got my book, uh, Hold Up the Sky, um, that I'll read whilst it's happening. Um, I've got to be in a relaxed state, so I kind of hope that I could work at the same time, but that's not the case. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn on... Uh, this device, uh, and they show you kind of how to do all this uh, when I uh, when I received it. So I wasn't allowed to play with it until I actually uh, had installed it. Uh, I had the introduction. Um, so that's saying that it has the uh, tongue tip plugged in. We're going to turn on the Bluetooth headphones, um, and they should go green as well. There we go. Um, so I'm going to pop the headphones on. It have to be left and right correctly because. Um, my hearing is a little bit, uh, uh, I've got some hearing loss in the right ear at the kind of 8,000 uh, kilohertz and the music and the audio that plays, the, the sound that plays, I'll try and include a clip, um, is uh, uh, basically noise and pure tone melody um, and they've increased the right ear so I can hear it properly. So once it's on my ears, I will then take this tongue tip, it's a bit tangled up. Stick my mouth, and then I'll hit play. So that has just finished. It's thirty minutes, um, and you just saw it kind of spinning around done. Um, so I could do another half an hour because it's the middle of the day I'm not going to. Um, so the sensation of the uh, tongue tip is uh, it's like having just a bit of air kind of playing on your tongue um, or kind of like that popping candy that you might know as a kid but very, very light effect. Um, and from what I can tell, it is synchronized uh, um, with the audio that I'm listening to. Um, and as the audio, I've, I've, I've looked at the audio um, waveforms and there's a series of like spikes 
Um, and I'm pretty sure, I'm fairly certain that the um, the sensor is triggering my uh, nerve on my tongue at those certain points. Um, so yeah, the moment my this is the the second. I did two half hour sessions yesterday, and this is my first uh, today. And um, I have to admit that I kind of secretly hoped that after one session, my tinnitus would have gone down a little bit. But like, realistically, I knew that that wouldn't happen. Um, and in fact, that's that's what's going on now in my head. My tinnitus is kind of at the back of my neck here. Um, I can feel it in the back or I can hear it in the back. Um, and it's it's pretty loud at the moment. Um, it's a very high kind of pitch. Uh, and there is this effect of the more I think about my tinnitus, the more I can hear it. So as I've said in my blog posts, uh, because I've been thinking about my tinnitus more because of this, this device, um, I've been more aware of it. So... Um, that was some of the feedback that the clinic had warned me about, that uh, they did find that their um, their patients, that their tinnitus would rise up a level sometimes, uh, but come back down again. And they have assured me that the tinnitus always, for every patient, has always ended up uh, back down at the, at the least, at the original kind of baseline level. Um, so, yeah, I, like I said, I, I kind of secretly hoped that I did it last night before I went to bed, um, and I can't fall asleep doing it either. I have to be awake. Uh, I was hoping that when I took the headphones off and I'd finished the session that I might kind of drift off into a soundless sleep, um, and that wasn't the case. Um, but, you know, this is the first day of, uh, of six weeks to start off with, um, and then I have a, like a follow-up appointment, and then there's another six weeks after that. So it's a 12-week um, uh, therapy session, basically. So yeah, that's where I'm up to so far. Um, certainly the sounds are soothing, um, which basically just goes to show you that kind of having some kind of white noise helps soothe um, tinnitus for me, certainly. Um, and like right now, suddenly my left ear is just pinging uh, another frequency into my, my brain. Um, so I'm going to go and try and focus that out of my head. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm up to. Um, and I'll write up some of this and um, hopefully this is interesting to anyone else who either suffers tinnitus or knows someone who is suffering from tinnitus. I'll keep checking in and let you know how it goes. Bye-bye.